Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate Kramer's fee using Excel. Um, what you need is some data, uh, I'll be using this cross table as an example. In the previous video I showed you how you can create cross tables in Excel from raw data. And what you also will be needing is the Pearson chi-squared value, which is 16.9897 for this example. And also in the previous video I showed you how you can calculate that with Excel. Now Kramer's fee is uh, quite straightforward from that moment on. What we need is the number of rows, which in this case is simply 5, but I can actually use count also to simply count that and then say, oops, not do not add the total. And the number of columns, which is also done by count. Yeah, we can select these two. And then Q is the minimum of those two, so that's min of these two. And then Kramer's fee itself uh, is actually this scary looking formula, but it's not that bad. We take the square root out of the chi-square value, which was this one, divided by open parentheses, the total uh, number in the sample, multiplied by open another set of parentheses, this Q, minus 1, and then close all the parentheses, which is 3 in total, Press enter and you should get Kramer's fee in this case being 0.09 which is pretty low. And that's all there is to it.